Lesson 15.2 is called distance formula. Distances are easy to find if you have a horizontal line on a coordinate plane or a vertical line on a coordinate plane, but these are for finding something that's got a diagonal distance. That's hard to count. And so what we have here is this formula that looks tricky. It's really not. It's just saying you're going to subtract your x values and square that number and then add to that your um, y, the difference in your y values squared. So it'll always turn out positive because distance should be positive. So we're gonna find the distance between these two points. And I wanna tell you too that this comes actually from the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals a c squared. And so that's why there's a plus sign right here in the middle that helps me. So I'm going to first subtract my x values. It doesn't matter which order you go. You almost can't screw it up. So I'm gonna go two minus negative three, which will turn into a plus three. Right, two minus a negative. We can't subtract a negative, so that turns into two plus three, that quantity squared, plus sign in between, and then it'll be negative seven minus two squared. So that would be two plus three, is five, five squared is 25. Negative seven minus two is negative nine, squared is a positive 81. Okay, add those together, you get eight, nine, 10, so that's 106. And it says in simplest radical form. So now the question is, is there a perfect square inside 106? I would try dividing by four, but I don't think that's gonna work because four times 25 would be 100. Nope, um, what's 106 divided by two? Think about what's in 53 would be anything. Let's see, I don't think so. No, because it's not seven. I think that's simplified. No, not 36. Not 16. It's not gonna be nine and it's not four. It's not, oops, not 81. So I think that is our final answer.